probably the only real Ming dynasty tombstone, really in the sense that is uh, not the Ming of the Zhenzhen Gong family. This is a tombstone set up in, according to the inscription, in uh, 1642, which means kind of 19 years before the Dutch lost control of Taiwan. It has been rebuilt, except for the tombstone. So the tombstone both tombstones are original. Well, if you touch the ground here, you realize it's all sand. So this has been the beach and the sea has been over there. This is just the result of different, very many different graveyards growing together. Nothing but tombs have been constructed here. These, these objects that are buried in the coffin or near the coffin, um, they are not claimed by anybody. And they have been buried with some, some good, like the uh, necklace or uh, money rumor goes that now all people say that their parents told them that in that area people of 228 have been buried. But Gomedang of course didn't set up a tombstone. This is going to be changed into a parking lot, so once there's a parking lot on it, and probably 20 years later the parking lot is removed, another high-rising building is built on top of it. So these tombs of the victims of 228 would never be found again. Workers are instructed not to dig deeper, not to look for things, and um, about these things nothing will be known. There are even people claiming that this has been a burial ground for the Aboriginal people living in this area before. So a few people thought they had found the remains, the tombs of Aboriginals, and then the city came and they didn't allow people to access and then it has been removed. News reporters were not allowed to enter the place. They try to hide actually the historical value of this place in order to turn it into an economical value. The city gave particular instruction to the workers not to dig any centimeters deeper than the ground level. If they still found huge amounts of coins of the Qing and Ming period of um, valuable stuff which has we even don't know what it is or of, of what period and it has been just reburied by the workers. The city didn't want these things to appear in public. So again this adds to the sad feeling that Tainan city government is not protecting the interest of the uh, the people of Tainan, but it's just trying to make its own profit by selling this as its own land. In Tainan this means we probably know nothing about the proper burial culture, so how people are put into the ground and what kind of objects were buried with the people, maybe nothing about the clothes they were buried with. came from there with, with interested people. They saw this public announcement there and the description of the tombstone. They passed by, they are not interested in that. They come here, see this tombstone, and then they, oh, they want to know what it is, what's written, why that one, why the size, and so. And then coming back, they, then they are interested in that explanation. This tombstone creates this interest and creates an understanding which nothing else can reproduce. Part of, our, of, of the understanding of this tombstone, tombstone comes through the comparison to newer tombstones we see. If we have only this tombstone and all others are gone, our imagination is that all tombstones are like this. Yeah, this is a kind of whitewashing of history. For the purpose of everybody feeling happy and 